One of the key aspects is the convention centre. So typically that's for national and international sometimes local um, exhibitions and events to be held there but it's actually going to be something quite different for Christchurch. Here we've located the convention centre right in the centre of the city so it's going to front onto the square. It has you know views to the Alps that can't be built out so it's really important in a convention centre to have those signature views. Um, that's something that the international arena is really attracted to. Um, but fundamentally, this needs to be a place for local people. So when we look at each of these anchor projects, we need to understand what's it doing for local people. So for us, actually creating something different in terms of the architecture here is really important. We've decided that we're going to wrap the, the typical convention functions, the plenary space, the exhibition space, with local uses and local amenity. And the idea is really that we're trying to catalyse development but also um, complete urban blocks. So we're not looking at a piecemeal development where you've got, you know, isolated blocks developed you know, sporadically and that start to mean that, you know, maybe your office is built and it's new but you're walking through development sites. It's actually about coming to a completed destination and for this, you know, the bars, the restaurants, the waterfront edge, you know, this is a local destination of which in, inside there may be an event happening, an international tourist, you know, set of delegates working through, but also there'll be rooftop, you know, gardens overlooking the town square, the cathedral square. There'll be views out to the Southern Alps, you know, from the big banqueting halls that those international guests are looking for. But importantly for locals, the two built elements or the two blocks will be joined together by a beautiful winter garden, like a galleria type space that you find in Northern Europe, very much appropriate to the local climate but also um, it provides flexibility. So when there's not a convention on, the idea that markets could be held here or meeting places or coffee spaces, you know, in addition to the western fronting um, bars and restaurants that you'll find out by the water. One of the things that's been critical is about you know, composing uh, two complete city blocks early on. It's really about getting an early win in place that are two solid blocks of development. So you're not looking at pepper-potted isolated building stock through the town. You've actually got somewhere to go that you're out of out of earshot of the noise, you know, during construction or if you want a morning coffee you can happily go and walk down by the river and you're actually starting to see the city take life again and you know and take a bit of a respite from that that sort of large-scale construction that we know the city will have. The Performing Arts Centre combined with the new use of the convention centre and the existing amenity of the Isaac Theatre Royal starts to form a really strong powerful district in this new city.